Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In my previous video on virology, I already discussed about the what is the study virology is the study of viruses and about I discuss about the general properties of viruses and about the classification of viruses. Today I am going to discuss about the morphology of viruses. Okay, so let's start with the video. Before starting, I will request you to please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and share this video with your friends so that they should also get benefit. Starting with the morphology of viruses. Morphology of viruses. So I already told you that entire virus particle is known as virion entire virus particle is known as virion and this virion is comprises of nucleic acid surrounded by the protein coat which is known as capsid so virion what is virion entire virus particle is known as virion and this virus particle that is the viroin it comprises of nucleic acid surrounded by protein coat that is known as surrounded by protein coat and this protein code is known as capsid. Okay. Nucleic acid plus which is surrounded by protein code is known as nucleocapsid. Okay. So this is present in the virus. Some viruses also have outer envelope. So, nucleic acid, it is surrounded by the protein coat and in some viruses, envelope is also present. And the viruses which are having envelope, they are known as enveloped viruses and the viruses which do not have envelope, they are known as non-enveloped viruses. Nucleic acid, some viruses, also have an outer envelope and they are known as enveloped viruses first discussing about the nucleic acid remember that in viruses they have either dna or rna but never both viruses have i already discussed in my general properties of viruses please watch this video please watch that video if you do not watch that in general properties of viruses i discussed that viruses have either dna or rna but never both okay so on basis on this the viruses are classified into dna viruses and rna viruses so i also discussed about the classification of viruses based on the nucleic acid so please watch that video also that is virology part two nucleic acid may be nucleic acid may be single standard or double standard Circular or linear, segmented or unsegmented. Okay. 
Um, now we are going to discuss about the examples and which viruses are having single standard, which viruses having double standard nucleic acid, which viruses are circular, which viruses are linear, which of the viruses are segmented viruses. Now we are going to discuss about the that. So remember, important point it is most of the DNA viruses, most of the DNA viruses are double standard okay most of the dna viruses are double standard exception is parvovirus parvovirus is dna virus but it is having single standard nucleic acid okay rest all of the dna viruses are having double standard nucleic acid most of the RNA viruses are single standard except Rio virus that is the rotavirus. Okay, uh, most of the RNA viruses are single standard. Exception is Rio virus, Rio virus is double standard. Okay. So this is the most important point that is about the exception. Now coming to the linear nucleic acid, the viruses which have linear nucleic acid. Examples, herpes virus, herpes viride or virus, parvoviride, pox viride, Adenoviridae. So, herpes viridae, parvoviridae, pox viridae, adenoviridae have linear nucleic acid. Okay. Now, the viruses which have circular nucleic acid. Example include Hepadnaviridae and Papovaviridae. Examples Hepadnaviridae and Papovaviridae. So these two have circular nucleic acid. Remember certain viruses have segmented genome. Certain viruses have Segmented genome. Example Arena virus, Rota virus, Bunia virus, Orthomyxovirus, that is the influenza virus. Example that is orthomyxovirus is influenza virus. Arena virus, rota virus, bunia virus, orthomyxovirus. These viruses have segmented genome. Now starting the discussion about capsid that is the protein coat which is surrounding the nucleic acid. Remember capsid it is it composed of it composed of Number of repeated protein subunits. Repeated protein subunits. That is the polypeptides. It, it composed of repeated protein subunits. That is the polypeptides known as capsomeres. Now I'm going to discuss what is the function of capsid. Functions of capsid. First, it protects the nucleic acid from the external environment that is from the damage from the nucleases. It protects the nucleic acid from the external environment
that is from the nucleases capsid protects nucleases nucleic acid from nucleases second in non enveloped viruses in non enveloped viruses the capsid initiates the first step of replication that is the attachment or adsorption in in my next video i will be discussing about the viral replication in that i am going to discuss about the what are the steps which are taking place in viral replication so the first step of viral replication is attachment or adsorption so in non enveloped virus this capsid that is the protein coat what it will do it will initiate the first step of viral replication the first step of viral replication is attachment the first step of viral replication is attachment now by initiating the first step it facilitates the entry of virus into the host cell the third important function of capsid is it is antigenic and it is specific for each virus it is antigenic capsid or the protein coat is antigenic and specific for each virus fourth important point is capsid is responsible for the shape and symmetry of viruses in my coming video in this only i am going to discuss about the shape of viruses symmetry of viruses so for the shape and for the symmetry capsid is responsible capsid is responsible for shape and symmetry of virus now i'm going to discuss about the envelope some viruses have envelope okay so they are known as enveloped viruses so i'm going to discuss about the envelope only envelope we discuss about the nucleic acid we discuss about the capsid that is a protein coat which is surrounding the nucleic acid and some viruses are surrounded by the envelope they are known as enveloped viruses we are going to discuss about that certain viruses possess an envelope which is surrounding the nucleocapsid and they are known as enveloped viruses envelope is lipoprotein in nature envelope is lipo protein in nature that is it is made up of lipid and protein the lipid part of the envelope is derived from the host cell membrane and the protein part of the envelope is virus coated the lipid part is derived from the host cell membrane and the protein part of the envelope is virus coated okay so this is about the envelope and this protein part it is made up of subunits which is known as papillomers which project as spikes on the surface of the envelope to ye jo protein part hai envelope ka that is the protein part of envelope what it is known as it is made up of subunits and that subunits are known as papillomers and these papillomers they project as a spike on the surface of 
envelope. Some viruses have more than one kind of peplomers. And the example is influenza virus and it has hemagglutinin and neuroaminidase peplomers. Some viruses have more than one kind of peplomers. Example is influenza virus. Influenza virus have more than one kind of peplomers that is heme agglutinin and neuroaminidase peplomers. Peplomers. Enveloped viruses are more susceptible to heat and lipid solvents like ether. Enveloped viruses, this is the most important point, remember this. Enveloped viruses are more susceptible to heat and lipid solvents. Chemicals like ether, bile, chloroform, detergents, they destroy the enveloped viruses. Okay? Enveloped viruses can be destroyed by chemicals such as ether, by chloroform and detergents they can destroy the enveloped viruses peplomers are also antigenic and thus facilitate the entry of viruses peplomers like capsomeres they also are antigenic and they also facilitate the entry of viruses most viruses are enveloped. Exceptions, non-enveloped viruses. Remember, most viruses are enveloped. But there are some exception, exceptions which are non-enveloped. So we are going to see the examples of non-enveloped viruses. Non-enveloped viruses. Examples, DNA virus, remember as mnemonic, PAP, P for parvovirus, VA for adenovirus, P for papovavirus, parvovirus, adenovirus and papovavirus. These three DNA viruses are non-enveloped viruses. RNA virus says examples which are non enveloped picorna virus dio virus calici virus hepatitis a virus hepatitis a virus hepatitis e virus so these are having non envelope they don't have envelope in the next video i am going to discuss about the this is the part 1 video in the next video i am going to discuss about the shape symmetry and size of viruses remember capsid is the one which is responsible for the shape and symmetry in this i discuss about the nucleic acid and the protein code that is the capsid and about the envelope and examples of the non-enveloped viruses. If you like my video then please share this video with your friends so that they should also get benefit. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. If you subscribe then I will get motivated. And please if you like the video then please 
प्रेस ऑन दी लाइक बटन एंड कॉमेंट इन दी कॉमेंट बॉक्स थैंक यू